Hello fellow mobile gamers, welcome to Gaming on Phone's YouTube channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the latest addition to the world of basketball gaming, NBA All World. The recent release of NBA All World by Niantic has been drawing comparisons to their popular title Pokemon Go, as both games use the player's real-world journey, tracked by a GPS to progress in the game. This review will provide initial impressions of the title and ratings for NBA All World to help potential players make a decision. If you're loving our daily updates like these and want to help this channel grow, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give the videos thumbs up. For now, let's head straight towards the video. NBA All World, Niantic's latest release, is similar to Pokemon Go in that players have to physically travel to find gear and matches. However, the concept is not really unique and some people may prefer Pokemon Go over NBA All World. The implementation of GPS is average and the tracking of player movement is a bit of a headache, but there is potential for improvement. The fun aspect of the game is the travel, which requires effort from the player. NBA All World provides a good opportunity for friends and adventures. However, the overall idea of the game is repetitive and not as appealing as Pokemon Go. The implementation of GPS and tracking still needs improvement, but there is hope for future updates from Niantic. The gameplay in NBA World is not refined and could use some improvement. The pre-game startup animation takes too long and is unskippable, but simple skip button would be a helpful addition. The graphics are good, but some generated player faces are not convincing. The soundtracks, however, are top-notch and very catchy, creating a good gaming atmosphere. The sound effects for clicks and moves are also very well composed. Overall, the sound aspect of the game is well done by Niantic. The game modes in NBA All World are limited and unimpressive, with repetitive mini-games and limited options. The events and quests are monotonous and the highlight is collecting gear and participating in AI battles. The controls are limited, taking away from the excitement of the basketball aspect. The 1v1 minigame is disappointing due to limited control options and slow reaction times. The steal and block buttons during a defense are automated, feeling unfinished. The dribbling controls are average but lack a convincing factor. Overall, the game modes and controls in NBA All World leave many rooms for improvement. The UI in the Niantic game is criticized for being slow and irritating with forced transitions and bugs, including sudden freezing of the game. The loading time is also too long and the game takes up more space with in-game downloads. The control options are slow and the reaction time is poor for a basketball game. The Discord copy chat style in Campfire is even worse. The game's responsiveness needs improvement and the transitions and UI experience should be smoothed out to provide a better experience for the player. For players concerned about ads, there are no disruptions from advertisements or notifications diverting to a different app. However, the game has pay-to-win elements where players can purchase items such as cash, credits, energy packs and event tickets to upgrade their team. This requires real-life money transactions. In conclusion, the NBA All World game has both positive and negative aspects. Despite not being outright bad, the game is currently overshadowed by bugs and problems. Additionally, a similar but better game by the same maker already exists in the market. The limited controls in the basketball game are disappointing and do not provide a satisfying gaming experience. Niantic should consider feedback from fans, especially on gameplay, to improve the game and make updates. Initial impressions may not change, but the final result could improve with updates and improvements based on feedback. Well, that's all we have for you today. Let us know in the comments if you're excited for this game. And if you have any other questions about it, we'll be back with more exciting mobile gaming videos soon. Meanwhile, you can always check the previous week's news highlights and our website at www.gamingonphone.com. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one.